Hello, my name is Ryan McCarthy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly film your own golf swings for accurate analysis. I'm going to show you the apps that you can use and even how you can send it to me. So rule number one when filming your own golf swing is angles. Just make sure that you've got the camera at the correct angle. Now, this is from the down the line perspective. I've got some canes here on the ground which are directly in between my toe line and the ball line and I just want you to make sure that those canes are actually pointing pretty much at the lens of the camera. It's going to make sure that you're going to get some consistent data. If you're going to put some swings side by side to analyse, you've got to make sure that the camera lens is in the same location, otherwise it's pretty much pointless. And this is the face on perspective. You'll notice that I've got the canes now pointing directly through the golf ball and directly towards the camera lens. Again, this is for continuity, just going to make sure that you are analysing things from the correct angle each and every time. Right, so rule number two, you've just got to make sure that the footage that you're taking is steady. Now, if you're using a smartphone, there's plenty of cradles that you can get that will attach to your golf bag or an alignment cane or something like that, just to make sure that the footage is steady. If it's shaking around all over the place, as you'll see in a second, very, very difficult, well, it's impossible to analyse, to be honest. So if I set up to the golf ball and then we get a bit of a shaky image on the camera, take one to the top of the backswing, as you can see, if you're trying to draw lines and angles on that, it's going to be particularly difficult. And rule number three, make sure you're using a smartphone. In particular, use a smartphone with a designated app. The app is going to make it so much easier to frame the golf swing correctly. You can make sure that you're not wobbling around and it's nice and stable and gets fairly consistent angles just by using the app. Now, I use the Swing Catalyst app for the iPhone. Let's have a little bit more of an in-depth look at that. I take it out on the golf course with me if I'm doing playing lessons and things like this. Let's see what it looks like and see why it's so good. So let's have a look at the Swing Catalyst app. As I said earlier, available for free on the iTunes store or in the App Store. Feature packed and very easy to use is what I've found over the last sort of maybe two years nearly now I've been using this. Um, fantastic little app. Uh, you can even put your own milk shot on it as well if you want. Um, and what can actually happen, people can actually send me videos uh, directly to this app and I can refresh the app and keep getting swings from different people and get back in touch with them uh, if they're needing some help. We've got the home screen which I'm in now. Um, you can change your own personal profile, name, email address etc. Um, put, you can put your date of birth in if you don't mind sharing that. We've got a store where you can actually buy two player swings so if you're into comparing your swing with two players which most likely wouldn't want to be doing. Everybody swings a club slightly differently but there's plenty of swings in there for you to select if you wanted to compare some swings. We've got the Explorer which will have your swings that you've recorded in so we can go in there and sort of have a look at mine that I recorded the other day. And this just uses the iPhone's native camera so you can use it in slow motion mode etc. And whilst we're in here, we might as well show you the drawing tools that are available in, in the app. So we've got circles, angles, you name it, you can do it. And you can draw things on there until your heart's content. You've also got the ability to put two swings alongside each other. So if you're comparing a swing from maybe a practice session from a few months ago to a practice session that you just had, you can see if the changes that you wanted wanting to make are actually taking place. So that's quite a neat little feature, I think. And we can actually upload that and share that online. You can share it via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the usual social media sites. And you can upload it to your Swing Catalyst online. And that's where you can actually share it as well. So if we go into this, <coughs> you can actually se search for a friend or it says a four here. <laughs> Not sure whether you'd be sending it to a four. Uh, but you can send that to me or a friend, anybody of your choosing, as long as they've got the... Swing Catalyst app. Now we're just going to enter the capture and as you can see here nice and neat we've actually got a stick man and if you put the stick man or put the person within the stick man that's just going to make sure that the the shot is actually framed properly. So all in all very usable 
and for free you can't really argue with it can you? So that video is going to give you some ideas as to how to go about filming your own golf swing and filming it correctly. All that you need is a designated app, I showed you the Swing Catalyst app for iPhone. There is a V1 app as well for the Android which I believe is very very good but I do like uh, the usability and the functionality of that Swing Catalyst app for the iPhone. I get some alignment canes down on the ground or maybe your golf clubs to make sure that the angles that you're filming are consistent. If you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up, press subscribe, I'll see you all again soon, enjoy your golf.